Hello, my dear young friends. Are you ready to learn organic chemistry? Okay. So let us start organic chemistry from today. This organic chemistry carries 18 marks in CBSC exam. The weightage may be different for different board exam, but in CBSC exam, this is of 18 marks. Now, first of all, I would like to tell you that the study of organic chemistry will be entirely different than the physical chemistry or inorganic chemistry. In physical chemistry, there are so many chapters and all these chapters are independent, not connected to each other. For example, if you have not studied solid state, no problem, you can do solutions. You can do very well in solutions. Similarly, if solution is not done, you can still do chemical kinetics. So these chapters are independent. But organic chemistry, the whole of organic chemistry is just one unit. Although, for simplicity, this, the entire organic chemistry has been divided into four chapters. And these four chapters are Number one, the first chapter is unit 10. Unit 10, which is haloalkanes and haloarenes. Haloalkanes and haloarenes. And this carries four marks. Four marks in CBSC exam. Then we have unit 11. This unit 11 is alcohols, phenols and ethers. Now this again, this chapter carries 4 marks in exam, in CBSC exam. Then unit 11. Unit 11 is the biggest chapter. It contains aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids and this chapter is of 6 marks and then we have the last chapter that is unit 12 unit 13 this unit 13 is organic compounds containing nitrogen according to NCRT this is amines but these are the organic compounds containing Nitrogen. Now this is of four marks. So, so you can see that all the entire organic chemistry has been divided into four units and the, the weightage is also given to you. But you must understand that all these chapters are interconnected. If you have not done alkyl halides and aryl halides, it will be difficult to do alcohols and phenols and so on. This is one part. The second thing which I would like to tell you that the types of questions which are asked in organic chemistry. You will be doing in your class or here the preparation and properties, physical and chemical properties of organic compounds. But in exam, the type of questions which you are supposed to answer are as follows. So, so important types of questions. Important types of questions in organic, in organic chemistry. So in your question paper, the questions may be of, based on nomenclature. Nomenclature. Nomenclature can be of IUPAC and common. Most of the question is based on IUPAC. IUPAC's nomenclature. Obviously, you are supposed to know some of the common, some of the uh, uh, the names of some of the important compounds in common system also. So, this IUPAC questions, the based on nomenclature will be there. Then the second type of question is 
नेम रिएक्शन नेम रिएक्शन नाउ देर आर नियरली ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी नेम रिएक्शन इन क्लास ट्वेल्थ केमिस्ट्री यू आर सपोज टू नो दीज नेम रिएक्शन नाउ नेम रिएक्शन मीन्स दीज रिएक्शन आर बेस्ड ऑन द नेम ऑफ समबडी फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी कैन हैव केनी जेरो रिएक्शन और राइमर टाइम इन रिएक्शन और एल्डोल कंडेंसेशन और विलियमसन सिंथेसिस एंड सो ऑन सो दीज आर द रिएक्शन एंड दीज रिएक्शन आर कॉल द नेम रिएक्शन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फॉर योर एग्जाम देन थर्ड टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज डिस्टिंग्विश distinguish between pairs of organic compound distinguish between pairs of organic compounds the question you may have to give the chemical test to distinguish between the pairs of organic compound for example you may be asked how to differentiate how to differentiate between ethyl alcohol and phenol which is c6h5oh so you have to give the chemical test to distinguish this pair of compound right now we have ethyl alcohol and phenol so this is a, again very important type of question uh you know there are only uh, in the entire organic chemistry there are hardly 8 to 10 tests chemical test on the basis of which hundreds of uh, distinguish between pairs question can be solved so i will tell you later on all this but i right now i am just telling you the important type of questions which will be there in the question paper then we have the fourth type and that is uh, reasoning based question reasoning based question here the statement will be given to you and then you have to justify for example you may be you may be asked why is phenol acidic or phenol is acidic in nature explain or for that matter alcohols have higher boiling point than isomeric ether so you have to give the reasons for uh, these things again this is a very important questions very very important question and uh, there will be very high weightage in cbsc exam then we have uh, another important question that is convergence now convergence now in order to solve the questions on conversion you need to know the various reactions of uh, this organic chemistry basically this is the only question which requires the whole lot of knowledge of of organic chemistry to solve the question other questions can be done independently but convergence in order to solve the questions on conversion you need to know the various reactions this is again very important and this is always there in the question paper so these are basically the five types of questions which are very very important for examination then there can be other type other questions also the question the sixth type of question is identification identification of compounds here the statement will be given to you some reactions will be given to you that the compound a having molecular formula so and so combines with particular reagent to give b and c then c again combine to give d or something something and on the basis of that statement you have to identify the a b c d e etc you also you are also required to write the sequence of reaction so again this is a this is a important question and then the seventh type of questions is mechanism 